Okay, listen for a dissonance. Okay, did you hear it? It's not a real strong dissonance, but uh, let's go through and look at our intervals really quick here. I'm gonna go all the way back here and just grab that. Okay, so I'm in the key of D here. So I have a B and a D. Now it's important to note that I'm not starting at the beginning. This is an excerpt from a middle, mem middle measure uh, of a piece. So I'm not gonna worry about making the beginning uh, one of those perfect intervals. But the interval of a B to a D is the interval of a third. I, I could have kept that, that's okay. Now, here I have A to a D, which is a fourth. And let's just keep going, then we'll come back and address that. Here I have G to a D, that's a fifth. F to an A, that's a third. F to F sharp, I should say, to a B, that's a fourth. And E to a C, that is a sixth. Okay, so here are my intervals now. Let's make these a little more straight because that's how I roll. Um, okay, first of all, let's look right here. Fourth is a dissonance, right? And this is now on a strong beat because we're moving in kind of quarter note style. So the weak beat is the eighth note here and here. So this is a strong beat and it resolves here. This A goes down to G to a consonant. So we have a dissonance on a strong beat. That was a no, no, no in prior counterpoint styles. Now it's okay. Um, and in fact, you would find in a lot of pop music that we do that now. We like to have uh, a dissonance on a strong beat and then resolve it to a weak beat. It's a very common thing in a lot of music now. So this is kind of where we first uh, started to get that sense. It's kind of fun to see how this evolves, right? Um, but now notice here. Here we have a dissonance, a similar dissonance on a weak beat. So they can still happen on weak beats. They don't have to be on strong beats, but weak beats and strong beats, our dissonance can now be allowed, right? So here we have a passing tone. This fourth is a passing tone where the dissonance lands on a strong beat. Here we have another passing tone where the dissonance lands on a weak beat, right? So to sum up, we have Passing tones, neighbor tones, and consonant skips, all allowed. Same rules with those apply as before, except in addition to being on weak beats, they can now have the dissonance on a strong beat. Now that you know where this dissonance is and how this note, this dissonance resolves on the weak beat to this fifth, let's hear it again at this really slow tempo. Right, you hear that da da da. So this is dissonance resolution on the weak beat. Um, probably doesn't sound all that strange to you because you hear it a lot in modern music.